Hello children, it's me again Sunil and welcome to Marvelous Maths. In this lesson, we are going to learn more about addition. Here are some fruit. Let's see how many there are. Let's start by counting the mangoes. There's one, two, three. Three mangoes. And now the bananas. One, two, three, four, and five. Five bananas. So we have three mangoes and five bananas. That will give us a total of three plus five equals eight. There are eight fruits. Very good. Let's write the number sentence for this. You do remember number sentence, don't you? Good. This is what it is. Now, look at these pictures. Yes, this is a lizard and this is a beetle. The lizard has one, two, three, four. Four legs and the beetle has one, two, three, four, five and six. Six legs. How many legs do they have all together? The sum of four and six is ten. Yes, ten legs. Now, let's write this in a number sentence. The sum of four and six is ten. Look at this number. It is six, correct? I like this number. I call it my lucky number. Let's find some groups of two numbers that can add up to make six. We'll start with the number one. What number must be added to one to get six? Yes, if we add five to one, we get six. Now, two plus what number makes six? You are right. Two plus four equals six. Next, three added to what number makes six? Right again, three and three is six. Are there any other numbers that when added together give us a total of six? Yes, zero added to six equals six. What is this number? Yes, it's nine. Now let's find some pairs of numbers that when added make a total of nine. We'll start with zero. What number must be added to zero to get nine? Since zero is nothing, we add nine to zero to get nine. Now, what number added to one makes nine? You're right. Eight added to one makes nine. Next, what number plus two? equals 9. Right again! 7 plus 2 equals 9. Now, let's try 3. What number added to 3 equals 9? Correct! 6 added to 3 equals 9. Are there any other numbers that added together give us a total of 9. 
Let's take five. What added to five gives a total of nine. Yes, four added to five gives a total of nine. Here are two groups of cakes. Let's write the number sentence for the cakes. We have one, two, three, and four. Four cakes on the left. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six. Six cakes on the right. So four cakes added to six cakes gives us a total of 10 cakes. In the vase, there are red flowers and yellow flowers. What is the sum of all the flowers? The sum means we have to add all the flowers together. Now, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 5 red flowers. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 yellow flowers. If we write this in a number sentence, then we should get 5 plus 5 equals 10. Very good. 10 flowers. Let's look again at the types of addition we learned earlier in this episode. If we have two groups of things and we want to find the total, we just add them up. For example, if I have three blue glasses and four red glasses, how many glasses would I have altogether? Yes, we add them. 3 plus 4 equals 7. I will have a total of 7 glasses. Now, let's find the pairs of numbers that can make 7. We'll start with the smallest number, which is 0. So, what number added to 0 gives 7. Yes! 7 added to 0 gives 7. Next, let's take 1. 1 plus what number equals 7? Good! 1 plus 6 equals 7. What number must be added to 2 to make 7. Correct again. 5 added to 2 makes 7. Are there any other pairs that add up to 7? You're right. 3 plus 4 equals 7. must remember that for questions on addition, different words could be used like plus, the sum of, more than, finding the total. But all these mean we must add the numbers. Nick has five sweets. Farid has four sweets. Find the sum of the sweets they have. Nick has five sweets. Farid has four sweets. To find the sum, we add five to four and we get nine sweets. Sandra bought three ice creams. Farisha bought one ice cream more than Sandra. How many ice creams did they buy all together? Sandra has three ice creams and Farisha had one more. This means that Farisha had four ice creams. So all together, they had three plus four equals seven. 
They had seven ice creams altogether. Krishnan has four pencils. How many more pencils must he buy to make nine pencils? Let's write this as a number sentence. Krishnan has four pencils. What number added to four will give him nine? Yes, Krishnan must buy five pencils to make nine pencils. Siu Cheng has two erasers. His brother gives him three more erasers. What is the total number of erasers Siu Cheng has? If Siu Cheng has two erasers and his brother gives him three more, that means we add two to three, which is a total of five. Siu Cheng has a total of five erasers. Fill in the boxes with the correct numbers from the circles. If we choose 1 from the circle on the left, we must add it to 9 to get 10. There is no 9 in the circle on the right. If we choose 2 from the circle on the left, we must add it to 8 to get 10. There is no 8 in the circle on the right. If we choose 3 from the circle on the left, we must add it to 7 to get 10. Yes, there is a 7 in the circle on the right. So the answer is 3 plus 7 equals 10. Lisa has 5 rulers. Jenny has 2 rulers more than Lisa. How many rulers does Jenny have? If Lisa has 5 rulers, and Jenny has 2 more than Lisa, then we must add 2 to 5 to find out the number of rulers Jenny has. So 5 plus 2 equals 7. Jenny has 7 rulers. Well, that's all for now. Don't forget to do your homework. And I'll see you again next time. Bye!